Welcome to my new series on Binding True Love After 50. Hi, I'm Joni Marks. I'm a three-time international best-selling author and the creator of three acclaimed online courses. And the material in this new series are edited excerpts from my upcoming book, Finding True Love After 50, which will be published later this year. And this episode, which is concluding our month of February, where we've been talking about self-love, and feeling comfortable with being the love we seek, and that is ourselves, I want to talk about the number one thing to do to ingrain in you the joy and the acceptability of self-care and self-love. This self-care routine for your body after 50 requires some level of physical activity, but none of it happens without first processing the thoughts, the beliefs, and the emotions that run through your mind. Therefore, the foundation and number one thing to do to begin any self-care routine for your body is loving yourself just as you are. This is why a self-care routine for your body requires a conscious approach to observing your thoughts and your emotions as they show up. It's not enough just to be physically active. To look after your body, it is essential you look after how you feel about yourself. Stop avoiding thoughts and emotions that are uncomfortable. Even worse, don't dismiss your desires and inspired ideas for true love after 50. A lot of people will tell you that over 50, they are really physically active, but that does not mean that they are happy. What we're focusing on today is being 50 and over and understanding that physical activity is one thing, but it all starts in your mind. It all starts with your beliefs about yourself and your understanding how important it is to do self-care routines. Whether you are currently engaging in your own self-care routine for your body or wanting to start one, here's where I suggest you begin taking things to a new level. Find a quiet place to sit with your journal and write the following. I am enough. I do enough. I have enough. I have always been enough. I love myself just as I am. Once these are written, speak them out loud to yourself multiple times a day. The affirmations we just talked about that you wrote in your journal, why is that so hard to follow through on and to believe in? It's because your inner critic who sits on your shoulder is constantly telling you negative things. And if you listen to yourself very clearly, you will hear the voice of your inner critic. Sometimes it, it may be your parent. Sometimes it's a teacher. Sometimes it might be a former lover. But what you need to get in tune with is who at that moment is saying those words to you. That is going to make all the difference in you understanding how important self-care is, how important journaling is in getting you to listen to the voice of your true authentic self instead of this inner critic. When it comes to a self-care routine for your body, pay close attention to how your inner critic will attempt to distract you. This is especially Especially true when you are speaking positive affirmations. The one way your inner critic distracts you is giving reasons why these declarations are not true. So how do you overcome this? The more you engage in self-love and self-care activities, the more confidence you have in yourself. This means you'll be less influenced by thoughts of negativity and unworthiness. To help solidify these concepts that we've been talking about, I now am going to guide you through three journal prompts. 
Create some time after this episode to journal your responses to the following journal prompts. One, what are some of the ways you have sabotaged your self-care practices? How will you start overcoming this? Two, what self-care routines for your body and your emotional state have you engaged in? And three, what new self-care routines for your body and your mind are you willing to commit to in 2024? Thank you so much for joining me for this episode and to sign up for my online courses, Finding True Love and Drive Through Make It Your Own, visit udemy.com and in the search box, type my name, Joni Marks. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, oh, please be sure to sign up. And until you and I meet again, remember every morning, look into your mirror, smile at yourself and say, I am my own best friend, for I came into this world to be myself, for that I came. Thank you and all my best.